You are nuts if you don't check them. Testicular cancer affects young men, even teenagers. In fact, it is the second most common cancer seen in the 20 to 39 year age group. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about testicles. Not just cancers, but other causes of lumps, swellings, pains, what to check for and where to go for further advice. Hi, I'm Dr. Lane, a GP from Adelaide in South Australia, and one of the areas I specialize in is sexual health. Now, quite commonly, I see patients who have discovered a lump in the testicle and they were extremely worried about it. Now, let me reassure you, testicular lumps are actually really common. And the good news is that most of them are actually harmless. In fact, in all of the cases of testicular lumps I've seen in my career, probably only a handful of them have turned out to be cancerous. More commonly, the lump turns out to be a cyst, a blood vessel, or even just normal anatomy. Testicular cancer is actually quite rare, and it can usually be treated effectively, but that doesn't mean you should be complacent. You should check your testicles regularly for lumps and other changes. If you don't know how to do a self-check, I'm going to explain it here. I'm not going to demonstrate it in this video, sorry to say, but if you did want to see somebody do it, there's lots of good videos you can look up. So the best way to perform a self-check is after a shower because the skin of the scrotum will be really soft. You should start by feeling the testes and they will be smooth. You should be able to roll each of them between your fingers like a marble. On the top of each testicle is the epididymis. Now this part is quite soft and it might be sensitive but it shouldn't be painful when you feel it. Now sometimes the epididymis can get infected though and we call this epididymitis. This will typically require antibiotics. So if you find that it is very painful or if there's swelling or redness, you should really get to the doctor. Now, attached to the epididymis is the spermatic cord. And this cord carries blood vessels and something called the vas deferens, which is a cord that transports sperm from the testes. Sometimes when you feel the spermatic cord, you may notice something that feels like a bag of worms. We call this a varicocele, and it's actually the veins which become enlarged and dilated, exactly the same as varicose veins that you might see people get in the legs. Varicoceles are really common and they usually develop around puberty. If you think you have one, don't panic, make an appointment to see your doctor to get it checked. When it comes to testicles, one thing to never ignore is pain. If you develop pain in the testes or they feel sore or swollen, don't sit on it. No pun intended. Sudden pain in the testes should actually be treated as an emergency, so you shouldn't delay getting to an emergency department as quick as you can. It could be something like a torsion, which is where one of the testicles becomes twisted, so don't ignore that one. So, the take home messages of this video. Number one, take time to perform a self check at least once a month. You need to feel for the testicle, epididymis, and spermatic cord and get used to what they feel like so you know if there's a change. Number two, if you find a lump, swelling, or anything that doesn't seem right, don't panic. Just make an appointment with your GP to check it out. And number three, this one's important, don't be embarrassed. This is an important discussion and these are common concerns. So don't be nuts, just start checking them.